Well, hello, this is your Lord High Admiral Eric of the Army of Jimresma. We're back for another Gimle battle. Isn't that quite nice? Today, we are going to face a very recognizable design, which I'm sure has been the last thing you saw when you, whenever you played a campaign. I don't know, because I haven't played a campaign since 2015, and that's definitely something we're going to do. We're putting together the um, Army of Jimmerism second chapter Frontier Fleet to beat the Nether. But not right now, because right now we're doing some Gimli battles. Here we have the Singularity version 2 by Squick. And it... Uh, uses it has its very 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 compact design just like the singularity is but of course with a different loadout and different settings and stuff like that i don't know if it looks different i kind of think it looks a little bit different but that's probably just fleet colors and now it's gonna look very different because now uh, it automatically gets the alien colors. But in any case, this is gonna be very interesting because the singularity is of course a very scary, dangerous design. And I don't remember if I tested the Gimlet against it. I think I did, and I think it beats the singularity. But Squick thinks that the singularity version two will be so strong that it will hand the Gimla class battleship its own ass. So we will check that out and see if it's true or not. I don't know if Squick actually said that, but uh, now we shall pretend so. In any case, let the battle roll. That's a lot of fires. <laughs> oh no, the, uh, the pool table is... Anyways, okay, let's focus on the battle here. We have we have some missiles incoming there. We seem to have a pretty strong lamb system, right? If we slow down time here, look at that. That lamb system is trying to eliminate anything larger than uh, small. And this type of shell that's a pure... That's armor-piercing frag. Oh! And we have seen from experience that armor-piercing frag can be really... Or, or just pure frag. But can be a really, really good strategy to tackle the Gimla with. And I do believe that the Singularity V2 does have some evasive movements. Which is, of course, a very good idea when you are facing the uh, Gimle. You see, it dodges most of those shots. And it also has the potential to get at the uh, Gimle's weak side. Oh, damn! They hit! Who oh, no! Oh, bam! That is brutal. That's 20% almost in one shot. Oh, damn! Damn, it looks like it's gonna sink. This is the first. This, oh, it teleports. Why didn't you teleport before you got completely killed? Well, that's, well, that did prolong the battle with like one second. Congratulations. The Singularity version two does not tackle the Gimli very well. I don't remember if I got this submission before the fire update or after, but I do feel that in however it is, this design probably got a lot worse after the fire update. Because I think that we hit a, uh, I think a fragmentation or a cram detonated several uh, steam cookers and that the steam cookers just created big explosions slash fires there. Well, obviously the Singularity V2 is uh, absolutely killed and we must uh, restart the battle because this is, after all, best of three. So here we are. Let us indeed see how this unfolds. Will it dodge the shots again or will it not? Because it really has to, it really has to dodge them, um, obviously, when it hits, when it gets hit by a cram shell, 
it's very much game over man that was that was very fast battle this this video will be suspiciously short I feel like we're so gonna have a third battle here unless of course the singularity version 2 is able to um, hand the gimle its own ass as we say what's happening here why does it have pinchers behind it that's just weird anyways weird it may be but it's uh, how it is Singularity is, uh, has now successfully brought the Gimli down by 3% just while not being too scratched. But honestly I think it's just a matter of time. It feels like only the right cannons are firing. I wonder if the left cannons are damaged or something. One is missing, so that's a one. That's bad. I think we lost a tiny little bit of recording there, but uh, hopefully nothing too important happened. I don't think so. This is the second round in any case, and as we can see here, we are, um, well, just pounding on here, Singularity is at 98 percentages, and the Gimli is at 90, what is it, 5.3? So it will be very interesting to see if anything can be turned here, the, the, wow, well, the lambs clean up those missiles as it's nothing, however, these shots popping in here, those AP fragment shots, they do some scary damage, definitely. We also have a laser and packs. So we have some random fires and holes all over the place here. By the way, um, you should definitely check out some fun music videos I put, on, I put up on the channels, um, because I've generated some music uh, using Udio for the Army of Jimidism, so we put up some cool music videos there with some generative uh, images. Uh, so I basically try some story building, so I generated my own style of city and units and basically building the imaginary universe of the Empire of Jimidism. Very nice. So we have those music videos for the Army of Jimidism uploaded to YouTube. We also have martial mu musician Veseretz who has composed, like really, really composed, no help of any AI generative technology to piece together songs, but actual creation. Um, anyways, Veseretz, our martial musician, did compose some songs too, which is uh, also uploaded to the channel in, in the same mix. You'll see in the description uh, slash on screen um, how and by whom uh, it was made. But we basically want to have a word building scenario where we have some different Jimodism, uh, Army of Jimodism themed music and stuff like that. Pretty cool, I think. Uh, maybe just insufferably silly and weird. But anyways, that's what we're doing. I want to have this imaginary universe that goes together with all of all of this, all of this. Army of Jimidism, Ecclesiarch of Jimidism, Ministry of Jimidism, the Jimidists uh, Discord and everything like that. I want it all to uh, be put together in some kind of coercive universe uh, inspired from a bunch of different things just because it's fun and just because we can. So do check out that song. If you want to get outside the weird army of Jimidism, Empire of Jimidism universe, you should definitely check out our, our uh, new-ish, not new, uh, our podcast, of course. Gaming and Tech for a Better World, Spotify, it's available there, it's available at Apple Pods and uh, of course here on YouTube. Check it out and th say what you think about it, might be some interesting uh, entertainment when you don't want to watch anything, but just listen to something pretty cool. Well, the singularity is at 96 percentages. It's done a much better job at avoiding this time. I think it's a little bit weird though that we haven't seen teleportation much now. But maybe it will pop up soonish. I guess it may teleport whenever it feels like it's gonna get hit by a cram. The Gimli is down to 90%, sorry. So that's pretty cool. It actually did 
like some proper damage this time. I want to kind of follow one of these shells here. That's the AP frag shells in super slow speed. No, stop it. There we go. Thank you. They're still fast, even though uh, you mixed up timer. Bam, penetrates a bit there and there it gets stopped of energy and explodes. Not very dramatic, of course. Um, deal some damage, but they, they shoot pretty often too, so that's to be expected. Okay. Game class 89 percentages, singularity 96, but uh, will it be able to go to the Gimless weak side? Because if it doesn't, uh, I kind of doubt it will win this. Look at that. Here we have an Arquivalista Invictus shots. This is not that. This is the thing I think might actually bring this thing down. Look at that. Oh, that actually missed. Oh, well, that's sad. Happens. And eight, eight. Gimlis down to eighty-eight percent. Just it is consistently doing some decent damage. That has to be said. I was so sure it was gonna die. <clears throat> very quickly after we've seen this first battle. Now I'm starting to think that the Singularity version 2 made by Squick might actually be a pretty good refit of the Singularity because it's definitely more dangerous than the Singularity. But I don't know what's happening with the respawn thing. Like not respawn, a uh, teleport thing. Like why did it teleport before and why doesn't it now? Maybe it's just only if it's gonna get hit that it will... I don't know. So we basically have a 10% lead on the Gimli class, but will it be enough or will it not? Here we have the classic wedge spam. I do feel, however, when we get through and crack open any of those steam engines, the Squick is gonna have a real big problem, so it better deal with the Gimlet before that happens. It's probably just a question of time, though. <clears throat> it's grinding through here. Well. Wow. The uh, Vigoletta is definitely doing the uh, heavy lifting here. I don't even know what happened with our system. And the laser. What's up with the laser? Our laser and firing at all. I think that might be because we have we have power. Maybe we just don't have a good angle or something. Or it's just simply damaged. That can be true too. Now it's just staying, really staying behind Gimli here. I think we'll need some serious help from the Arcvalista Invictuses to be able to bring this down. They'll need a lucky shot or something. So how are we doing inside of here? Scratched AI, but no biggie. Most system seems to be uh, on a kind of working level at least. This kind of looks like it will hit, but just kind of. Kind of want to see that teleportation again because I think that's pretty cool. Wait, what? What happened? I'm not like no accidentally controlling anything. What happened? I don't know why it stopped firing. Does it have engine problems? It probably has low engine power. It's not out of materials. So it must be that something has been a little bit too scratched. weird. It's 
probably gonna get the same fate as last time and, and simply sink then. The Singularity is 13% in the lead over the Gimbal though. And those lasers still do serious... Uh, maybe not, not laser, that cannon still does serious damage. Because the Gimbal is below 80% now. So it may actually somehow still win this. That is something I would have not expected at all after the first battle. Very interesting. That's why best of three is a fun thing to do to actually see the results of, uh, well, things, chips. If they are better than the other or not. If it's similar or if it's a big difference. Because after the first battle, we could, we could kind of have assumed that the Singularity <laughs> is going to lose very quickly. But we are already 8 minutes in this second battle. 77% versus 93. That's pretty exciting. Look at that. I wonder if it's like many boilers inside of here, or if it's mainly mainly fuel storage. This has kind of stalled into some kind of weird slugfest where it's the Vigoletta Marksman versus those outer cannons. We seem to be far... was that? No. I don't think our pack is active, is it? No, our pack is very sad. Might actually... this this might actually be online. No, it's... it's also dead. It's also dead. Alright then. Well... Now I'm starting to think that the Gimla will lose this. We'll need a pack hit to actually win this. Look at that, that's just so much exposed interiors. That's a little bit scary. Now I'm almost happy we have this angle. So we have some stuff in front of the uh, AI core. Actually, this is a very bad angle. Straight dead on would be better. That's how the Gimla is built to best handle. I'm a little bit sad that the Gimless laser is offline. That means that uh, this has turned to a very slow endurance kind of battle. Look at that. More important bits. I wonder if that's the Arcabalista. 74 percentages. I wonder if it blew uh, something up there. I do feel, however, that if the Vigoletta Marksman shoot at anything extremely important, we kind of want to see that happen. Sometimes when, when things are fired and they're fired from a fast vehicle, it's kind of hard to see if it shot or if it got shot. So the Arcabalista Invictus feels very targeted. It's still able to fire though. This crime cannon is very dead. Uh, that boiler is very sad, man. That's a big hole there. Crime cannon is active. We'll let it firing. Yeah. 71 versus 92. It looks like the Singularity might win this, but... It will need to beat the Gimla within 15 minutes to actually win win this. That's one of the rules. I hope I remember that rule in this entire tournament, because I read the rules. I think we didn't reach that limit very often, did we? Because I hope I'm not, inconse like, I'm not inconsequential with the rules. I want to apply them at the same time, in the same way, throughout the entire tournament. Otherwise, I'm doing a bad job. Mm. 
Well, well, look at that. <laughs> it's seriously difficult at the versus the right side of these Singularity V2's cannons. It's so weird. Are we losing altitude? No? No, now we're gaining. And it's like with those hovercrafts. They're like slowly starting to dip and they are kind of getting a tr getting having some trouble getting out of the situation they're in. So it's like a gradual change. Sixty-eight percentages. Twelve minutes in. Oh. This is oh my god. Oh my god. What happened here? Oh, damn! The Singularity... It looked like it was about to win. But I believe that some of the EMP on the Gimla, or I guess, I can't imagine what else could have done it, has taken out the Singularity's AI. The main AI seems to be offline. Oh, damn! With the Gimla at 67 percentages. Wow. That is, that's so surprising. That's very amazing. Look, I mean, look at it. What happened? I don't know if it was EMP, I don't know if it was frag or whatever it was, but the Singularity's AI killed. It really looked like it had a super good chance of winning this, but Wow, it, it ended up losing it anyways. Um, so it's in the loser's bracket. We'll see if it do better there. I feel that the Singularity could have won over the Gimli here. And this last battle, wow. It did a really good job at like grinding down. I don't know if it would have been able to bring the Gimli down to below 55% just with just two minutes more to go. But it was certainly an interesting battle to see. Well, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did you should definitely leave a like if you disliked it you can do that too in any case i hope you will be uh, tuning in for our future videos and you do that most easily by subscribing the support options you already know and do remember that loser's bracket will be on twitch so make sure you follow me on twitch so that you don't miss the uh, loser's bracket tournament but we'll need to officially close the submissions first. The submissions are not com completely officially closed, so there is that. In any case, this is your host, Lord High Admiral Eric of the Army of Geminism, and we're officially signing out. Bye.